Well, hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to be talking about equipment performance so far. Like these Raspberry Pis, 4Bs, Big Trunk Smart Shot, and Micro Air Easy Start. How is it all holding up after about three, four months and almost six months worth of work that I've been doing? So we'll take some measurements, see what we got. My settings on a smart shunt, how I get the best performance out of it. We'll see that a little bit later over here in the battery settings. So let's start with Raspberry Pi 4Bs. They are working magnificently. I don't think I have had anything so stable software hardware wise than these Raspberry Pis. They never stopped working. <clears throat> I, had, I think I had three of them for well over the year and they never, never stopped working hard. So, and I did install these um, aluminum heat sinks because I didn't want the fans. Those small fans normally fail real quick, so I installed the uh, uh, aluminum heat sinks on them. Um, updated. I haven't updated them one time in two months. I updated them, they kept on working and whatnot. We started them. Everything's working just fine. Networking your equipment, working just fine, being as it is hot in the garage. She started collecting dust. I need to clean up the garage. But yes. Raspberry Pis are very, very reliable so far, not going good. Next thing, let's talk about the Transmart Shunt. All the electronics and everything is working just fine. Here it is on the wall. I zeroed out my uh, fluke. I zeroed it out again. And let's put it in and compare the numbers. Okay, charging at 181 amp almost, and here on the smart chunk, let's see what it's 174, it shows 174 on the smart chunk, and right now on the hook says 170. 6.5 so they're all for about two amps from each other i don't know which one is more correct but i would say that's working good especially at these high amperages now let's talk about a little bit about the battery settings what gives me the best performance here are my battery settings for the smart shunt i have found this setting as it is here to work the best even after a week not being synchronized to 100%, I'm only about I'm only about 0.7 amps off in the capacity measurement. Okay, so this setting might not work for you, but it works for me. Uh, I think charge efficiency factor needs to be set as best as it can. For me, is 98%. Current threshold is a 0.05 percent and pucred expon exponent is at 1.02 percent i set charge detection time at four minutes and a tail current at one percent discharge floor at ten percent i can say that victron smart shunt has never quit working and especially in conjunction with this raspberry pi whose API has been incorporated into the MPP Solar by Jay Blantz. And now currently I'm not using Grafana, Grafana anymore, I'm only using Home Assistant. So let's see how that looks in a Home Assistant. I know you can't see this real well, but here it is. And here's the data from uh, from a power wall when it comes to voltage and how much are we charging it with right now. I'm at 
power wall is at 88.3% and recharging and we have a solar input of 10.6 kilowatts. It's partly cloudy today so it's up and down when it comes to that production. Now next thing, let's go to easy um, micro air easy start. Let's see if it's still performing properly. So here we are at the micro air easy start. I'm about to turn on AC. I'm doing this by myself, so let's hope I capture it. So here we go. Let's see what it pulls. Uh, the temperatures are very similar to what, what, what was around May 1st when I installed it. So let's see how does this look like. Okay, here we go. It sh the fluke should record minimum maximum values because some people were complaining that I didn't catch it properly. So here we go. There it is boys, 23.7 amps to start the compressor. And I was pulling about, what did I say at that time, 75, 80 amps or something. So that is a pretty good reduction. Now let's see what is it pulling, what is it pulling in, um, of course let's look at the minimum value too. Uh, so it's it's running at that point six amps today's weather is about 80 something degrees very very similar to what I had in the May when I turned it on so there it is 10.4 amps to run three and a half ton compressor I think micro air easy start was a good investment and after four months it's working flawlessly as you can see and one more time, 23.7 amps to have it start. I would say this will prolong the life of this compressor as long as it stays working by long, long time. All right. In addition to all of this, I will have a review part two of LV6548 after October 1st that will commemorate six months of performance and I think it will be interesting there's a lot of things when you have a lot of data you figure out a lot of things and these puppies are using just as a little preview they are using 2.73 kilowatt hours combined from grid every day have I used grid every day no but there were times where I used the grid in order to charge the car so we'll get to it in October six month review of these um, LV 6548s I install a little tablet over here on the wall to monitor the system at all times this works real well it's pretty cool and then good people in the home assistant have blessed us with energy tab over here which is pretty cool I think and it gives you a lot of data that you can go through and sift through many many times better than Grafana as you can see today is September 11th maybe a bad day to make a video but hey god bless all of those souls we lost on that day day week month year and then of course nice bubble to tell you what you did actually put in a battery took out house grid and what came in from solar today bad solar day today it has a predictor in that dashed white line However, we are not achieving that today. All right. I might even talk to you before October, but in October, LV6548 review part two. I think it'll be good. Later, boys.